I went down to see Michael the night before he passed. We had a meeting about another project that we were doing. And that was when I first saw the 3D film that they had done for Earth Song, which is what's compelling and was so important to Michael. It was, he told me later that night that that was the most important thing, piece of the whole show because of the message of Earth Song, the, the message about the environment, mm -hmm. message about preserving the environment. And so when he passed and when we knew that everybody was kind of looking to see what the Grammys were going to do about Michael Jackson, we thought about, you know, do we try and do the hits, do we try and do this, do we try and do that? But at the end of the day, it really came down to what I felt or what, and what we all felt Michael would have wanted. And Michael would have wanted us to do Earth Song, and that's what we're doing on the show. Having that relationship with Michael, does that make it something special? Last year about this time, uh, we sat down with Michael and talked about him doing the show uh, last year. And it was before the tour was announced, but the tour was being planned, and he just wasn't ready. And the last thing he said to me at that meeting was, next year we'll do the Grammys. This year we're doing the Grammys, but we're doing them about Michael, not with Michael. So if he were still alive today, there's a chance that we would see, we'd be looking forward to a great Michael Jackson performance. I, I, there's no doubt that it, that it would have been amazing, but what's interesting is that um, the people that we picked to perform this 3D version of Earth Song are the people that I, real, I really feel Michael would have wanted to be there. Um, um, Celine Dion, who was always one of Michael's favorites. Mm -hmm. Carrie Underwood, who we talked about the night that I met with him. Mm -hmm. Usher, who we know he loved. Um, Smokey, his godfather. Um, and Jennifer Hudson, who performed at the memorial service that we did, but also was someone that Michael really admired a lot. And it worked both ways. When I made the calls to these people to ask them if they wanted to be a part of it, they all just said, absolutely. Okay, this is 3D, which is groundbreaking for television, so explain to folks how they can see it in 3D. Michael was always groundbreaking. It was always about what's the next, th what can I do that nobody else has done? So when this 3D opportunity presented itself and we saw this Earth Song footage, which is pretty brilliant, um, we thought, okay, this is one more thing that we can do for Michael. Uh, so if you're at home or if you go to Target where, you can, where 15 million glasses are being distributed, you'll be able to see this in full 3D. If you don't, because you, know, you don't get there or whatever, you're still going to see, you're not going to, you're going to, you won't see the 3D effects because the footage that we're showing in 3D is the footage that was prepared for Earth Song. Mm -hmm. We have one or two 3D cameras that we're shooting this with as well. But basically, if you're at home watching with, you know, just watching the Grammys, you're going to see this performance in, in, in all of its brilliance. You just won't get the 3D effect. So the message is, hurry to target because 15 million sounds like a lot, but it's not really. We th it's, I, I'm anxious to see. The, the, uh, the glasses, I think, um, I think they're in Target starting on Tuesday the 26th, I believe, and I'm kind of anxious to see, and they're obviously they're free, they're given away, um, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how quickly they go. Tell us about some of the other performers that will be on the show this year. We've kind of become known for these great duets and the combinations that we do. And we're not going to disappoint this year. You know, there's some of them. I, I like to keep as many of them as surprises as we can. I can tell you that uh, um, just uh, within the last hour, uh, a Taylor Swift combination came together that's really kind of unique and pretty interesting. Um, I think Lady Gaga, you'll see Lady Gaga performing with someone. Um, uh, uh, Maxwell, uh, there's a pretty great performance that, that includes uh, an homage to uh, Teddy Pendergrass that, we're, you know, that will feature another artist that's pretty special. Um, you know, some of these things need to, they, you know, again, we're still, we're, we're, we're far enough away that we're still working on some things. but. You know, it's, it's the Grammys, and it's not just us that want it to be great. Every artist that does the show, you know, looks at this show as this moment to, to shine.